Okay guys, so starting off with the bare face, I'm going to put on my primer. For primer, we're using the Rare Beauty Primer, um, Pore Diffusing Primer. Um, I love this stuff. It's, it's really nice with the pores. So I'm just putting that in areas where I have pores. And like I always say with primer, you want to focus in the areas. Um, you want to focus the primer on what the primer says that it does. So if it's a pore diffusing primer, you want to apply it in areas where you only have pores. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal or undercover <laughs> under paint. So um, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible um, Pro Matte Concealer. This is my full coverage fave. Um, for whenever I'm going for a full coverage look, this is what I'd usually use. And something that, if I want something that is long lasting, I'd also take this one. So for date nights, this is definitely what I'd recommend. Um, so I'm using that in areas where I'd usually highlight. Um, and then also around my lip because I like to um, sort of color correct the area around my lip because I find that it's kind of dark. Um, and then I'm using my beauty blender. This is actually a new beauty blender that I got. It's really good. I got it from Marshalls. It's so nice and soft. It does a good job. It's such a good blender. I'll look for it and link it down below, but it's such a good beauty blender. <laughs> contour with my Juvia's Place concealer in the shade <laughs> I'll go in with my foundation, my regular decola, the same old, same old, <laughs> the Maybelline um, Superstay foundation in the shade 375 Java. So, yeah. <laughs> Next, I'm going in and setting my highlighted areas with my pressed powder, my loose setting powder, sorry. Um, this is my loose setting powder from Maybelline um, in the shade 35. And then after, I'll go ahead and fill in my brows off camera 
because i do have a brow tutorial so i'll link that down below um but after this i'll go ahead and fill in my brows and then i'll come back and then we'll do the eyeshadow look together this eyeshadow looks actually very simple beginner friendly so if you don't know your way around eyeshadow don't be scared trust me this is something that you can totally do. So to prep my eye area, I'm using the same concealer that I use from L'Oreal. Um, I like I like to use a concealer for my eye area it works just fine so i'll use that and then i'll blend it out and then i'll go ahead and use my loose powder as well to set it just to set the concealer in place and give my my eyeshadow a long lasting effect <laughs> for eyeshadow i'm using the violet force essentials palette and i'm starting off with the brown shade the cinnamon shade i'm gonna go ahead and just place that in my crease i start off by placing the color and then i just blend that into my crease and then i go ahead and just further build the pigment that i want so when i get to um how like pigmented that i want it to look or when it gives me the pigment that i want it to give me um and then i stop and then i move to the next eye so um, i also do have an eyeshadow tutorial a beginner friendly one um, so sometimes when I'm saying the things I feel like you guys have watched that video so it will sound familiar but if you haven't watched it I'll link it also down below so I'm just going ahead to blend that out in my whole crease area um, and just build color and then also repeat the same process on my next eye <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in and use the e.l.f. pocket palette. Um, the gold shade um, in this palette is something that I really like. It gives a really nice um, black girl gold shade. So I'll use that in my crease. And using a brush, I'm just going to go ahead and carve out my um, cut crease. I'm not actually cutting my crease. I'll just use a brush and then the gold shade to sort of carve out a cut crease look. Um, and then I'll just follow the pattern that I go with or literally the pattern that suits my eye um, and then I'll repeat the same process on the next eye <laughs> ahead to blend out um, the outer areas of the gold shade that I just placed with some of the brown just so it gives it a nice ombre shade you know and then also blends it out just so that it doesn't have like a harsh um, gold going on now i'm just doing my lower lower lash i'm, I'm doing my bottom line <laughs> um, i'm doing my lower lash line i'm just applying some color and then i also went ahead to use some um, black pencil this was actually like gel 
um, just to sort of define my eye area and then I'm also doing some mascara so that's pretty much it for the eye area to be honest I told you guys this eye look is something that you can totally do it's just a blend of two colors two neutral beautiful colors um, and this is something that you can so wear for like dinner, you know, this is what I wanted to call red carpet, you know, cause this is the most easiest red carpet look that the celebrities go for. Um, and then next I'm just giving myself some warmth and some color with my blush. You guys know that I love my blush. Okay. Orange blushes all the way. So I'm using that to just, um, bring some color back to my face and then add some warmth or warmth to my look and then next i'm going in with my highlighter something nice you know something to give me that nice shimmery look because it's date night so you definitely want to you know glow okay um but minimal subtle okay <laughs> so um i also like to put that around my brow bone area you know just to give that area some nice light and then now I'm setting my whole makeup with my powder, my powder foundation. Love this. It just brings my whole face like um, it sets it in really nicely and takes away the powdery look. And then when I finish, I also set it with my setting spray. I love to bring the natural glow back. I feel like setting spray does that. It brings the natural glow back. And oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Look at this beauty. And I did a little something with my hair, okay? I have a video. I'll link it down below. I texturized my hair. Um, so you should look at that video also down below. I mean, you should watch the video down below. But this is the final look. I went with a red lip because I felt like a red lip was going to pair it up really nicely. And you can never go wrong with a red lip for date night. Now, can you? So I hope that you guys love this look. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up, okay? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next one. Um, yeah, I love you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>